In today's video, we are taking a complete comprehensive look at the entire history of the LEGO 501st Battle Pack movement and all of its key players coming up. Never in the history of LEGO have we seen a fan-driven community movement desiring a specific LEGO Star Wars set. You know, fans of LEGO, everyone, regardless of what theme that you like, the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, otherwise known as the 501st Battle Pack, has been one of the most, if not the most desired, fan sets of all time. We've never seen a two-year movement driven by social media engagement pretty much bombarding every single LEGO post the hashtag we want a 501st Battle Pack. Now there's a lot of history behind this set that you guys may not know of, so today's video we are going to be breaking down the origins of the 501st Battle Pack dating from the very first piece of content that we saw way back in 2018 and covering every single hurdle, leap, achievement all the way up until its official release worldwide as of August 1st of 2020. So guys, if you're excited for today's video, drop a like down below. But like I said, we've never seen a social media movement stronger than what we saw for the 501st Battle Pack. We had people commenting on every single Lego post on Instagram with the hashtag thousands and thousands of uses and it's really important to understand where it all started. So this video is going to be for you if you don't know exactly where this movement started or if you just don't get the whole big hoopla about this set, this is going to be the video for you. So let's take a trip back to December 7th of 2018. MNR Productions Ryan uploads a video titled, Hey Lego, we want a 501st Battle Pack. Y'all know it's a serious video when I'm wearing sunglasses, right? Like, that's how you know when I'm actually being serious about something. So here I am today. I'm going to be pushing for a big change. Everyone together is going to go on to whatever LEGO social media's next post, and you are going to make it known we want a 501st Battle Pack. Now, this video essentially talks directly to LEGO if and when they are watching. Now, shortly before this video, the Instagram account by the name of LEGO Star Wars Memes actually commented on the LEGO post that we want a 501st Battle Pack, but this comment was subsequently deleted, whether the account was restricted, blocked, whatever it may be, all we know is that the comment was made, and shortly after it was not available. Shortly after the comment from LEGO Star Wars memes and the subsequent video by Ryan, there was a lot of comments on that specific post. Everyone commented, we want a 501st Battle Pack. Dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of comments just on this one post. And this is what I like to think that is the spark that ignited the fan movement that would drive for the next year and a half or so consistently. But I think when we talk about the origins of this movement, where it started, what was like the first tipping point for the community to get involved and become more invested in this set or in the idea of the set, I should say, this is where we first saw it. Now this movement spans for, like I said, the next year and a half and we have swarms of comments chanting for the 501st Battle Pack. You're seeing this comment span on nearly every single LEGO post that you could see, I mean, LEGO Frankenstein, we want a 501st Battle Pack. Hermione Granger from Harry Potter, we want a 501st Battle Pack. And you see this go on and on and on, and you see this pattern continue and continue with the relentless effort of the community chanting for the 501st Battle Pack. I mean, you even have some idiots making videos about saying 501st a thousand times. What kind of schmuck would make a video like that? All right, you guys, let's see how long this takes. Anyways, let's reset. 501st. 501st, 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 501st. Fast forward a few months to July 26th of 2019, we have one of the most impactful, influential parts of the movement. Rich Boy J drops his Billboard Top 100 number one hit single, 501st Battle Pack, a Lego Star Wars rap, and this instantly becomes the rally cry of the entire movement. Just wanna 50501st battle pack. I already got a ATRT and a Captain Rex. If they made a 501st battle pack, I'd have to buy them all so I can build a Clone Wars mock like David Hall. I just wanna 50501st. Shortly after the video and audio release of this, we have tens of thousands of views. Many, many people desiring to want a change and seeking out this 501st battle pack. You have people uploading continuous clips of this song over and over again on repeat. I mean, this song gets played in videos, in vlogs, in reviews, in live streams. People are reacting 
to this song. It's so widespread here in the community and this just strengthens the movement, gives it more power, gives it more juice to continue on. Fast forward quite a bit to February of 2020. The Clone Wars season seven is announced. The trailer is dropped. We finally get to relive and see how the Clone Wars should have ended all the way from when it stopped a while back. Now this is really important for the movement because we have not had an excuse to get the 501st set or any 501st minifigure before, but now that we finally are getting season seven, the return of the Clone Wars, we know that is leading right up to the moments of Order 66 where the 501st Legion is heavily involved in the storyline. This is our chance. We're finally getting a breath of hope. Maybe this set can actually become a reality. There's reason, there's rhyme and reason for Star Wars and Lego to make more sets with the 501st, which increases our chances of getting the actual battle pack. So the ultimate question after this season seven trailer drops is, is there hope? Are we getting a 501st set? Will Lego come through for the boyos and girlos? We don't know. April 2nd, 2020, one day after April 1st, April Fools, Lego does the unthinkable. You asked for it, we've built it. This is quite possibly one of the most groundbreaking announcements in the Lego Star Wars community. This is huge. They're making it a $30 set, six minifigures, four 501st clone troopers, two vehicles. This is like a dream come true for everyone who's been campaigning so hard for the 501st battle pack. What's even more impressive is that in the tweet that Lego puts out, they specifically say, you asked for it, we've built it. They are acknowledging the fan movement, the year and a half of campaigning on every single Lego social media post, the endless counts and uses of the hashtag, we want a 501st battle pack. Lego is directly acknowledging the fan movement that was created in an effort to make this set possible. Now, on June 18th, the Lego fan media, Brick Fanatics, mostly known for their interviews and their website, drops an interview with the design team leads of Lego Star Wars. Now, personally, I had a lot of questions. You know, how much of the movement impacted the actual set was this something Lego planned anyways because of the Clone Wars season 7 or was this something entirely made of the fan movement well there's no questions after this article you can see here the article clearly says that this set was totally because of fan requests Lego group declared earlier this year when a fan campaign for the release of the 501st Legion clone troopers succeeded social media users took every opportunity to let the Lego group know how much they wanted a 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack. It turned out that the Lego Star Wars design team was listening and the set is scheduled for an August 1st release. Now the Star Wars design team lead, his name is Jens, I actually had the pleasure of meeting him at Star Wars Celebration. You can see he directly answers some of these questions. He says, with laughter, to be quite honest, the reason this is here now is totally because of fan requests. So there is no question in doubt if it was the Clone Wars or if it was the fan movement, which one had more of an effect on the set 100% it is the fan movement, the social media movement that we have created, led by some of the biggest names in the community. That is the reason why we have this set in the way it is. Fast forward to today, September 4th of 2020, the set has been officially, publicly, globally released everywhere. Granted, it's selling out like hotcakes everywhere. I'm pretty sure no Lego store has them in stock for longer than a few hours. Of course, Amazon, Best Buy, Target, all sold out to everywhere around the world people are making review videos and boxing videos haul videos just showing their pure excitement for this set it's been a really awesome thing to see the community come together campaign for a set but most importantly it's been incredible to see everyone enjoying this set with the recent closing of the trilogy we basically have the mandalorian maybe some extra clone war stuff and just new content on the horizon for us all for lego sets and i don't think there's a better time to be alive in the lego star wars community now as a closing part of this video i wanted to pose a little bit of an intellectual question i'm not saying i particularly agree or disagree with it because this set is now real because we finally got the set that we essentially spammed Lego's accounts with, does this mean we can just spam Lego and bombard them with comments and hashtags to get any Lego set that we want? I think that's a good and a bad thing. I wanna hear what you guys think down below. Do you think this sets a dangerous precedent going forward as to what the fans in the community want? Do you think Lego should continue to do stuff like this, maybe similar oriented sets? Or do you think this is bad news and this is like a one-off thing and we're not gonna get any more? Consistency in the community and showing Lego what we want and how much we want it has paid off 
and now we have what is most likely going to go down as one of the most if not the most popular lego star wars set of all time so i hope this video was somewhat entertaining and interesting to see the progression and timeline of the 501st battle pack really quickly personal thoughts as somebody who is fascinated and really into marketing and social media campaigning and just all that kind of stuff, I find it incredible of what this community was able to do. I hope people understand the sheer amount and the size and the capacity of this community and what we have banded together to do to create this set. I think it's incredible. I think it's gonna be few and far between if we ever see something like this happen again. So just know if you're somebody who let LEGO know what you wanted, the 501st Battle Pack, you are a part of that history, uh, which will never be erased in the LEGO group's past. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like down below. This video was a lot of work to make, but I had a ton of fun making it. Of course, let's give a huge thank you to LEGO for listening to the fans. We appreciate when they do that, and we can only hope that they will continue to do so in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Subscribe down below for more videos, and I'll see you later. It's been Matt. Take it easy. Peace.